Aircraft design is about uh, getting the first idea of the shape of an airplane. Aircraft design starts from requirements, which is uh, in civil aviation what we do. How many passengers uh, should be transported and how far should they go? So a little bit formal, uh, we would say payload and range. Then we obviously also have to look at uh, certification requirements and starting from all these requirements, uh, we put things together that in the end we have the shape of an airplane which is expressed in a three-view drawing. Aircraft design and uh, aviation uh, is relevant um, because we see globalization means that we network more and more. We do much through the internet but it's still very important that people see each other and certainly uh, what you cannot do through the internet, goods have to be transported. So we see passenger transport and freight transport are of much importance today. And uh, this is why aircraft design is important. We need the airplanes. In the old days, it was such that you strive to go uh, faster, longer range and maybe flying higher, but that changed. Today we talk about economics. Uh, we have to deliver the transport as low as possible costs and um, uh, the ecology is important. We need to save fuel and we want to make it also very comfortable for the people flying. Um, we start from requirements, we go to preliminary sizing and to conceptual design and what we don't do in this uh, teaching sequence here really what we want to do in the end we want to optimize the airplane obviously you need to fulfill requirements but this is not the best airplane uh, the airplane that makes it uh, as a successful airplane in the end is one which is just the best of uh, what you can achieve in this framework of requirements and for me, it is uh, to a certain extent an evolution. Yeah, you can really compare it with the biological uh, evolution where um, airplanes change, uh, their design changes over the decades. And in the end, it's the survival of the fittest. Yeah?